Hello everyone. Happy Monday. Tasha here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns and today we have Miss Kenzie girl. Uh, Mackenzie is um, my Saskia little girl. Uh, she uh, is reborn by uh, Myra's little bugs. Um, she has brown hair and uh, blue green eyes. She's just beautiful. She actually has human hair. Um, it's not short, but not long, but long enough where I can put like two little pigtails on the top of her head, which I love to do and um, things like that. So right now she's still in her John Lennon outfit from Auntie Ashley. And we're going to get her changed. I realized, because um, I really didn't Valentine's Day shop for, uh, you know, as far as wardrobes for the babies. Uh, but I did have this adorable little dress uh, for her. And it, it does have hearts all over the bottom. So I figured, what the heck, you know, what else are we going to use it for? Um, so this little dress, it has a little... Um, uh, it, a diaper co cover and it's in like a peach color or like a dark peach, like maybe a coral. Um, and then the top of the dress, um, it has, it, it's sleeveless, but it has like little like ruffles around the shoulders. And the top part is a dark, um, blue, like a denim. Um, and then it's very blingy. It has little, um, silver, um, sparkles all over the top um and then it's uh the waistband has a gold and then the bottom is a I guess I don't know a chiffon kind of uh it you know it's uh sheery and then it has a layer underneath of the peach and it has um kind of white blingy uh hearts all over it and then up on the chest it also has this like poofy little um flower made in the material uh of the bottom th that ha is uh has the flowers on as well it, it's the peach with the white uh flowers uh so really cute and then I have her little um you know they're uh these are classic uh black patent leather Mary Jane shoes and they have pretty little uh black uh bows that have a little bling to them I guess you would say so I'm going to get started changing Kenzie girl and oh I didn't take out the thing for her hair. Excuse me guys, I'm going to do that. Uh so I don't have to stop you. So what you might see in the background up top there just while I'm grabbing this uh hair thing out here. I got it right here. Um is uh just some clothes hanging it, uh, some of my daughter's things I hang dry so you're gonna see up there <laughs> excuse that um in the winter I kind of hang it across the windows so all right getting started changing Kenzie so I have a little bit of a <clears throat> story to tell you tell you guys oh my goodness so some of you may know um that it was G my son Gabriel's 10th birthday on Wednesday and that on Saturday, we were going for our, quote, mole outing with my parents, which we take him. Um, this is the second year we're doing it. We kind of decided last year to make an annual thing um, where he gets to go shopping um, and get taken out to lunch. Just him with my parents. And, and of course, I do go. Um, so... Uh, we did that uh, on Saturday, and it was lovely. He had a lovely time. You know, uh, it was like, you know, no sisters type of thing because I have three older daughters um, that, you know, often get to go to, like, you know, the designer clothing stores and stuff with Grammy and Grampy. So, you know, this was his little, his little thing. He went to the Geek Squad and... Uh, Newberry Comics, just, you know, cool stores like that. And he did pick out some Minecraft things. Um, so, hmm, I forgot. Kenzie is in a long sleeve onesie. And I like to have a onesie on, but I'm not going to go digging for a onesie. So I'm going to just take the long sleeve onesie off and put the dress on for you guys. <laughs> and then if I want later, I will... Uh, I'll get a white onesie out to put underneath for her. Um, 
So anyways, driving home from that, and it's about a 40 minute drive uh, to the mall. I'm just gonna take these little clips out of her hair because we're gonna do her hair. So here is uh, Kenzie in, in her all her glory. Of course, her hair's messed up, but I just wanna show you guys her um, you know, cloth body and just, you know, she's just such a beautiful baby. I, I know the lighting, I got the afternoon sun going on behind me isn't so perfect, but there you go. You can see her. Look at those. Oh, look at that face. Oh, she's just, oh, I love her. I love her. Um, so anyway, yeah, 40 minute drive and she's weighted so nicely. These chubby little legs. Chubby little legs. Yes. I enjoy, I enjoy my, the babies that I have here just oh, so much, guys. I, I'm just, I'm so overjoyed when I spend time with them and I see them. It's just, ugh. anyways, sorry, <laughs> I'm losing track of the story. So on the way home, um, now mind you guys, I don't drive a new vehicle. My, uh, I drive a, a, a minivan, a, a blue minivan, a Ford Windstar, and it's a Hmm, 2003, 2004, I think it's 2003, so, you know, old used vehicle, I mean, in good shape, good, you know, we take care of it, and, uh, you know, we bought it used, but it was in, you know, nice condition, and we maintenance it, and all that, so, but, you know, I, I that, it is what it is, anyway, so, I am literally almost home, I'm about, I guess I want to say, ugh, I'm not good at mileage, but I am less than five minutes from the house, like three minutes from the house, maybe five miles up the road, four miles up the road, something like that, um, on the, the smaller highway that leads to my road that I'm off of. And all of a sudden, this really bad, I'm smelling gas, gasoline, really, really bad not exhaust, you know, not, not exhaust, just pure gasoline as if you had your nose like up to a gas pump, you know, when you're pumping gas. So I said, my goodness, where, you know, is that coming from? And uh, within, uh, you know, this probably happened over like 30 to 60 seconds, the whole car was just filled up with the smell of gas, like I couldn't even get a breath. So now I roll down all the windows and I'm st and it gets worse. And the it was so thick and so bad. I'm now in full on panic. I'm looking around because there's like a lot of gas stations up on the highway. And, and I'm almost like stepping on the accelerator thinking that one of these gas stations is having, there's a major gas leak in the air. I'm looking at other cars trying to see, is everybody trying to, to drive, to get away? I didn't know what was happening. It was like co confusion. So I'm going and again, I open the windows. It was worse. I see my son in the back and he kind of had his head tilted to the side. I don't know if it was, he was tired from the ride. I'm like, Gabe, Gabe. And, and he, you know, responded, but it was, so now I'm almost home. I'm like three blocks from my house and I literally, I'm grabbing, I had on a a blouse it was a kind of sheery blouse so I tried to put it over my face but it was there was nothing to you know protect it was all sheery I had my jacket next to me I grabbed that but of course it's a winter you know uh jacket I I don't know what the material is called but it wasn't like an absorbent type of material so that wasn't gonna doing anything and I uh, I took a breath. It was it was so thick, so bad that I was going to pass out. I could not take inhale another breath of the gas that I was breathing. So I just I saw a spot, you know, in front of us. So I just cut the wheel. I almost drove into a fence. I stopped. I got out. I, you know, went in the back, pulled Gabriel out. Immediately when I pulled him out and stepped back away from the vehicle, I got a breath of fresh air. 
So I said, oh my God, it's coming from the car. You know, so of course I ran with him away from the car. You know, I obviously I shut it off when I got out. I ran with him away from the van. And, you know, because I didn't know, was it going to explode? Was it, I, I mean, it was just, it was horrible. My chest hurt. Oh, so, you know, I called my husband now again, my, I mean, I could literally see my, my block, you know, down, down the road, like three blocks away. Um, you know, probably like a good 10 minute walk on your feet, but you know, not to my house, all the way down to my house. Um, but uh, you know, I mean, again, guys, that's how close I was to home that I could not get another breath. I wanted to make it home to see what was going on. But, you know, when I got out, I didn't know, again, was this coming from the outside air? Like, I, a, a, a hundred things were going through my head, including plotting where I was going to grab my son and run, what store, what place, if it was in the air and there was about to be like a gas explosion or something. Because I couldn't imagine that it that heavy was coming from <laughs> a car. I'd never experienced anything like that. So I called my husband. Luckily, he was home. He came right up. He had the fire extinguisher with him and... Uh, you know, he started the van, he got underneath, he didn't see anything pouring out. Um, you know, it, it's, uh, he, he said, I can smell it a little bit underneath. He was kind of on the ground. It was raining. Ugh, it was so, I said, you know what? I said, just, you know, we, we had put Gabe in his car at that point. And I said, just, you know, follow, follow me home. Cause it was his, his the cab. So I, I can't, couldn't drive it home. Well, I could have, but it's, I didn't want to. So I said, you know, let's just get it home. Obviously I was satisfied that it wasn't going to explode and we got it home. So we're still not sure. He thinks it might just be the filter or uh, whatever. Um, it was, by that time, it was getting dark. He couldn't see much. Um, it poured all day yesterday. Um, so I still have to get this addressed with my van. I, I ran up around the corner today to the, the nail salon uh, because I was comfortable that that's a walking distance from my house. So I was like, okay, you know, just to maybe see if I smelt it. I didn't. Um, it could have been he fooled around with the gas cap and some things that he said there could have just been pressure. You know, it's an older vehicle. So... Um, but he'll get under there and, and really see, or, you know, I'll bring it up to my mechanic and, and see. But anyway, that was my interesting, <laughs> I felt like a near death experience. I was like, oh my God. And of course my husband said, you know, if that ever happens, you know, rolling down the windows, he said, if it was coming from our vehicle from underneath and where the gas line is, is on the driver's side. He said that made it worse because you're, the vehicle is running, so it's sucking it all up, you know, into, you know, the windows when you open them. But I had opened them. I couldn't get air. Of course, when I opened them, I really even more couldn't get air. But again, it was just, um, it was really scary not being able to breathe like that, that it was that strong and look. Ladies, I'm somebody that like, I don't get nutty about much. You know, I'll drive with all kinds of sounds going on, lights, you know, check, not the check engine light, but you know, like, I, well, we always, we have a thing with the computer with our, our van because it's older with the check engine light anyway, but you know, like I, I, I'm just not somebody that gets, you know, I, I, I just don't get kooky about stuff. Stuff goes wrong, you fix it, you know. I, I Usually I'm always trying to push as much, you know, out of a vehicle or whatever it is, the thing that I can to, you know, save money or whatever. And, you know, so when I say it was bad and it was scary it was scary scary it was <laughs> it was scary <laughs>
And the fact, again, because, like, I was so close to home, I just wanted to, you know, step on the gas and, and get, <laughs> just get the car home so that we could deal with it at home. I didn't even know if my husband was home yet. Would my son and I have to walk and then me leave the van? You know, I didn't want to do that. So, obviously, you know, I was trying to make it home for various reasons. Plus, I didn't thought the whole neighborhood was going to explode. I, I, It was just crazy. So, yeah, the fact that I... I I couldn't go any further and was that close to home gives you an idea of how how bad it was. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're not even seeing Kim brushing her hair over here on the side, like yapping away. Mom. I apologize. Y yes, dear. Am I allowed to have a fruit snack? You are allowed to have a fruit snack, yes. Go ahead. Thanks. Of course, that never fails to the... To those of you new, now the phone's going to start ringing. To those of you new here, it's usually when Gabriel's home and I'm making a video. And, like, I often, a lot of times I'll do this time of day because he, I get him settled in from school and he, he gets his allotted time on his Minecraft game. And, I don't know, it's just my kind of afternoon um, cup of coffee time. A lot of times I've been out you know, doing things, running out, you know, whatever I'm doing during the day. So it's, it, it's just kind of like a little reprieve, a little break time for me after I get him all settled in. Because he doesn't do homework right away or anything. I feel like he's been in school all day and he needs, he needs a break and he needs to do his mind on something, you know, um, that he looks forward to the reward of the game that he's had a good day at school. So anyway, um, it's, uh, it, it's not uncommon that he'll, um, in fact, these days I don't even check with him before I start making the video. Like I don't go in and say, do you have everything you need? I just kind of come in because I don't know. It's just, it's just cute that he's, it's like never fails that he's asking for a fruit snack or a Swiss roll, or just some, some sort of treat or snack. So Here's Miss Kenzie girl, and of course her hair is wet, and I like to, I have to fiddle with it more off camera. It takes me a while to fiddle with her hair to get it the way I want for pictures and stuff, but she's got an adorable little um, cream color headband, um, which of course this, the hearts are white, but it's still, I don't know, it just, I like this headband with this dress. It has a... a a flower on it with a pearl it's like poofy on top and then it has like a uh a, a tighter flower next to it um all in the same color cream i don't even i'm so bad at describing materials and things guys i'm so sorry but it's a poofy kind of fancy headband in the cream color and it i feel like it complements this dress even though there is no cream in the dress um, she definitely needs a onesie on under this. You can see like on her back, you know, you can see her claws. So she, you know, I have to put a onesie, but I wasn't gonna, you know, um, I, ha I need to find a white one. So I didn't want to hold you guys on looking for a onesie there in the background. So anyway, Kenzie, thanks you guys for watching and thanks for listening to my little gas story. I was like, of course, I've told a few people, you know, friends and stuff like, oh my God, you're not going to believe what happened. And, um, but yeah, it was scary. It was definitely, wow. I, I just was, um, I was really scared. So um, and you know, no worries guys, it will get it fixed and I'm not going anywhere too far and wide. And my husband did, you know, he was a mechanic for you. It's not going to blow up on me and you know, no worries. Um, and it's probably hopefully something easy and that it's not the gas tank is right. I, I don't even, I don't want to think about it. <laughs> so anyway, let me get Kenzie girl close up so you can see her face again. She's just, ugh, she is just so beautiful if you look back if you're new here if you look back to my like Saskia stories like the whoops how did I wind up with two I've actually been through how many Saskia's four well two 
my two keepers, but um, you know, uh, Kenzie and Nicholas are my two Saskias that I kind of, you know, took me a long time to find or a long time to me. I haven't been here long, but you know, I just, I had what I wanted in mind and it wasn't necessarily a specific picture of, I want this color hair. I, I wanted a certain, I guess, level of art, you know, level of, um, you know, quality in, in the artist, you know, which when I finally found, um, Myra, um, you know, I was, you know, was able to get, you know, some babies that I was so thrilled with. And of course, Kimberly, I mean, I'd take a Saskia from Kimberly even now, any day, even with two Saskia, you know, that's my oofties. <laughs> so, um, but I, again, um, I, I'm so thrilled, um, with my Myra's little bugs. I have five of them, uh, five babies all, um, by Myra now and, uh, two Kimberly's cocoons. And then there's other babies here that, you know, I don't bring out because they're not staying in my collection. One already has a new mommy. Uh, you know, she'll be going home in, I think, a few months, a couple months, maybe sooner. We'll see. But, um, and then I have to get my butt to get listed the, the other dolls because I, I had, I did, I listed on Instagram, I mentioned here, and I had just a flood of time wasters. It was, you know, a lot, you know, too many people just don't, you know, they're just looking for really cheap and they don't realize that these are high quality, you know, even the babies that I'm letting go of, like I didn't buy, you know, um, cheap quality reborns. It just happened that I found in my collecting that I, you know, whether it be like, I didn't like the, the skin tone, that peaches and cream, you know, something just didn't mesh with me, but it didn't have anything to do with it. That was anything wrong with the babies. So yeah. And, um, the one Saskia that I ha did already sell on eBay sold very well. And I had a Phoenix by Cassie Brace also sold very well on eBay. Yes, I paid the fee on eBay, but it was, then I didn't, I wasn't fielding inquiries all day on dolls on top of, you know, what I do. It was just better that way. I'd rather just pay the, the fee. It wasn't that much. And I was able to sell them for, uh, you know, close to what they were worth. So I, you know, that was better, better for me. Um, you know, maybe if I was a big, huge channel and here a really long time, you know, I know people do buy reborns off of each other collectors in the community. But again, I, I wasn't getting people hitting here that were looking for that quality of babies. So anyway, um, all right, I yapped on more than, of course, but, um, all right, guys, so hope everyone's week is off to a great start. Thank you, everyone who has done my, uh, tag so far. It's the sub-question tag, um, what makes you tick here, uh, so if you haven't done that, uh, check out that video, join in the fun, um, I'm really enjoying everyone's answers. Um, you know, everyone's been, you know, really honest and it's a great way to learn about everyone. I've learned a bit more about YouTube. So thank you everyone who has done um, the tag already. Um, Wendy at Weeby Dolls also has out a great uh, tag, which I did as well, the Valentine's uh, Day tag. And uh, that's a cute, fun tag. You know, when Valentine's Day is coming up, uh, so I had fun doing that one. So check that one out as well. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to, uh, hit that thumbs up for me and, uh, subscribe if you'd like and share, uh, comment, hit that notification bell and you'll never miss a video. And thanks again so much. God bless.